Hello, people of YouTube that just happen to like auto hotkeys. Today, I'm kind of doing a showcase, I guess you would call it. Uh, it's actually a showcase for myself. Usually, I do other people's scripts, but today's a little different. So, I don't even remember how I started this project. It was something I wanted to learn, and I just kept diving deeper and deeper into it until eventually I created my own IDE. If you don't know what that is, you know, it's like Notepad++, VS Code, etc. Where you code. <clears throat> so I ended up making it purely in auto hotkeys. It's for coding in auto hotkeys. It has a lot of cool features. I definitely plan to expand. So if you guys have any ideas or something maybe I should change up a little bit, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'm definitely looking for a lot of feedback on this. Uh, and I'm expanding. So I want to show you that real quick. I got it right here. So we're going to open that. And here it is. Not too fancy looking yet. I figured, you know, I kind of figure that stuff out a little bit later. Uh, my cursor is doing something really bizarre there. What is going on with my cursor? That is really weird. All right, so my cursor is kind of messed up, but we should still be fine. Anywho, but apparently it's showing up on OBS just fine. That's very bizarre. Anywho, um, so this is it. Right now I just have it called Code Tester V1 mode, which is version 1 coding. You can switch to version 2, which I don't have really working yet, but it's something that's coming. You know, obviously I have a lot of stuff planned. I'm going to make this look better, stuff like that. But I'm going to do a quick rundown. If you guys want to see a video on how I did some of this stuff, because the code is pretty complex for certain things. Uh, let me see where that is. You know, for example, doing... Um, <clears throat> some positioning stuff that was pretty complex stuff as you can see here a lot of math involved and you know getting controls and whatnot but as of right now we are at about 8,000 lines of code i believe okay yeah 7,430 lines of code and that is definitely going to jump up way bigger so if there's a specific feature in here that I show you that you want me to break down on how I actually did it, definitely let me know in the comments below. I plan to do a few videos on how I actually built this. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to show you guys so you guys got a bit of an intro can give me feedback. And if you want to test it, I will have the code in a link below in the description so you guys can start playing with it if you want, see if you find any bugs or whatever. So basically, you got your main edit uh, space here. And the beautiful thing about this is, let's say I type, I start typing a message box. As you see right here, it detected that I'm looking at it, and it gives me the syntax in case I need to know it. I forget the order or whatever, or what different options it has. The other thing you can do is go ahead and click on this, and it will autofill the rest of it for you. So then I can fill out, you know, each section by itself. But let's just say, hello, we're going to do a sleep. Uh, let's do five seconds or 5,000 milliseconds, and we'll do another message box of world. Now, obviously, I don't have every syntax helper thing down here done yet, um, so don't worry. That's something you don't need to recommend to me because I definitely plan to do that. I only have, uh, I don't know, maybe 50 of them done, um, and they're kind of random on what I got done. Um, but the beautiful thing about this is the code's typed I haven't saved this as an AHK file yet, but the cool thing is I can go ahead and run it anyway without the need of actually saving. It's basically uh, doing some DLL calls using some pipes, uh, two pipes. Uh, so it's kind of like it's making a temporary file in the, the memory uh, kind of way, I guess is a, a very simple way to explain it, but it's way more complex. I can explain that in another video. So I'm going to push run. Hello. It's going to wait five seconds. 5,000 milliseconds, and we'll get that second message box. World. So you can run code without the need to save it. Uh, I use this all the time if I just copy and paste someone's code from the internet, and I just want to test it real quick. I don't want to save it to my desktop or anything because there's like a chance I might not use it. I can just test it real quick here. Uh, the other thing you can do is push clear, and that's just going to erase everything. I do plan to add a message box here just so you know that says... Uh, are you sure you want to clear that way if you accidentally hit this you don't lose all your code because that would suck uh, So I definitely uh, plan to add a message box there saying are you sure now? Uh, let's say Now I can go up here to the, this little search and this is a list box in my GUI I can start typing a command where I can be like message box and it 
does a fuzzy sh search and as you see it pulled up anything that has msg in it well i need to know more about message box i can click on that and then i can click document and it's going to auto open to the website's documentation uh, for quick access to that in case you need to read more about a certain command that you're trying to use the other thing you can do is push youtube uh, I don't have all these done yet either, so as you see, it says coming soon, maybe LOL. If you know a video with this command, please let me know at this email address. Uh, thank you. Um, but if it does have a YouTube video link to it, uh, I think WinMove does right now. So if I go to WinMove and I push YouTube, it's automatically going to take you to a video that talks about, you know, how to use that command and you know stuff like that most of them are going to be my videos but if there's a video where i just haven't done a command yet you know i'll link it to maybe joe uh, glein's videos or someone else's that's there uh just uh so we can try to get as many videos there as possible but that is very limited at the moment that's a lot of work to go through and find videos for so i'm slowly working on that and i got just got my little logo here for fun uh the other cool thing too is you can backspace and it's going to auto fix uh, update all that. So as you see, I have all the V1 commands here. And I got pretty sure I got everything. If for some reason you find something I'm missing, let me know. Um, <clears throat> hopefully I can add that on to there. The other cool thing, which took me a while to get up and running, I'm going to do a video on how to do this, but adjustable GUIs where you can resize and all the you know stuff in here will resize with it. So as you see, the buttons and stuff are moving. The uh, little list box there is uh, adjusting its height, stuff like that. So that way you can adjust it. You know, maybe you want something big, full screen. It, it's not going to look weird with a bunch of gaps. It's going to auto size itself. Uh, it does get a little blocky uh, for some reason. I'm working on that. I, I think I have the solution for that. Um, yeah, it's a little weird um, right now. Bear with me. That one was kind of a pain to get up and running in the first place. The other thing I plan to do a video on is how to add a menu bar to your GUI. That one was actually pretty simple, but it's really cool to have. It's a great feature. Uh, you know, it adds a lot of cool stuff. So if, I'll just kind of run through these. We got file. We got run, which is down here too. Same thing. Or you can press F1. So I have added hotkeys to certain menu items. Clear. Uh, new new right now just opens a second one uh, eventually i plan to make it so it actually opens tabs but that's been a bit of a pain also so i'm working on that slowly but right now you just it just opens a new one um, so yeah you just have two windows versus two tabs for now uh, auto list jump that's another one that i find very useful um, versus me having to type in here every time i want to search for something i can do so it starts default by off i'm going to turn it on and as I type, I can do like message box. And as you see, it automatically recognized that as a command. And it took me to show me message boxes, anything that has to do with a message box. So I just call that auto jump or auto list jump on. And you can just turn it off and it won't jump anymore. Uh, change auto hotkey versions. So by default, it starts in version one, which, you know, for the most part is up and running. Version two, you switch that. And it switches, it, right here it says V2 mode, and that's V2 code. Uh, that won't work right now. All you do is switch modes, and it changes the name here. And it changes the, um, as you see, the list box just said coming soon. So that's not 100% done, um, but hopefully that will be done. But I can go back to V1. And, you know, it's being a little buggy there, it seems. So that's good to know. I'll have to look into that. Uh, change font size. So you can change the font size. So we can do message box. And you can use control and scroll and change like the font size. Uh, that's a little weird, but you can go here and easily change it to, you know, like 18 and then change it back to 10. So you can adjust the uh, size there. Let's keep it on 18 for the video, just in case. Uh, save, that's just going to open where do you want to save it. And then it's going to ask you, what do you want to name your file? Don't include the .ahk. It will automatically do that for you. So you just choose where you want to save it and then name it. Uh, load. That's just going to do this where I find uh, some code. I can you know, do this vid uh, script I have here. Push open. And it's going to put that code in there. 
Obviously, I plan to uh, add syntax highlighting later on. I've, that's been a whole process. Exit or F12 obviously just closes the whole program, closes the entire script. Uh, samples. Uh, this is another good one. Let me clear all. Uh, samples. Uh, these are functions that are commonly used. If you have one that you think is used, definitely let me once again know in the comments below. These are just some of the ones I use a lot. So, you know, run as admin. I need my script to run as admin. I can click there. It's going to show me the example. It automatically uh, puts it into your clipboard. And then you're just going to push Control V. And there is our code. And for some reason, that one did not do lines. So I'll fix that. That's easy enough. So it should have done something like this. So you, you get the point. But it should have done something like that. Hey, we're learning some uh, bugs already that I need to look into. Um, but yeah, there's a few different examples here. Uh, I definitely explain, I plan to expand quite a bit on there. About, you know, about just has some basic stuff. Info, what version is it? Uh, to do, you know, here's my kind of to do list in case you guys are wondering. Oh, I tried to run my code. That was weird. What's new? Uh, this is basically with this newest version that I released, which is currently 1.4 beta. I don't have the beta in there, but it's beta or alpha. I don't know. I haven't really gave much thought about the version numbers. Um, but this is kind of some stuff that what have I added in this newest version? Bugs I fix, uh, you know, features, that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, you can obviously scroll uh, in both directions. I don't have the option here yet because I don't have the code running that far. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much uh, all the functionality it has right now. As I said, you know, the code's uh, pretty, pretty long. You know, a lot of that code has to do with like links and stuff to all the commands and YouTube videos. You know, here's all the menus. I plan to talk about that in a video. But yeah, if there's something you specifically want to know that I said I won't be doing a video on, let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, we'll get to work on that. Uh, so yeah, thanks for any help you guys can give me. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, and I appreciate all you guys for subscribing. And if you haven't, you should. Because I throw out one, two videos every single week. Having to do with auto hotkeys. Sometimes I branch out into other languages. But it still has to do with automation. Alright everybody, I will see you on the next one.